You're watching Game Reactor Esports. We are in Malmö at the DreamHack Masters talking to Fallen from Luminosity Gaming. Um, first of all, congratulations on winning the MLG Major. This has been an exciting year for you guys. Pretty much getting better and better and better. How, what, what, how, how's this all worked out? Yeah, it's been a perfect year. Uh, as you say, we won the biggest tournament ever last week. Of course, we're a little disappointed on our performance in this tournament, but we, sh we need to understand and treat with this defeat as something that we need to learn from. Mm. So as I'm saying to my teammates, let's get better with this loss. Uh, it's better to lose this one than the major, the major we won. So let's move ahead and we're going to strike stronger next time. Yeah, we had the, I was just seeing you guys doing the signing and talking here afterwards. You seem in pretty high spirits despite the loss you had two days ago. Um, what what happened in the Tai Lu match? Did they surprise you, or, or were you off your game? I think both. I think they played very well, and they have they've had a very different approach to the game. Like they were exploding a lot of strats on T side, and when you explode the side, if the guy who is holding it doesn't have a good crossfire with someone else, or if he's not playing a good game, then they have the side, and then you have to retake it, and it's pretty difficult. Mm. So Tai Lu managed to play it very well, strategically speaking. And if you go to the to the statistical thing, you can see that they're all of them were like negative. So they didn't kill too much, but again, the points. So they play very smart, and I think it's because they surprised us, and actually because we didn't play as well, and mainly me, yeah, <laughs> some points. <laughs> All right, you're like the, the patron saint of Brazilian uh, Counter-Strike, not only with your own team, but you're working closely with, with Tempo Storm, helping them out. Can you uh, tell us about that, that, that relationship and what's going on there? Yeah, I have been working hard to keep CS alive in Brazil since uh, we're playing 1.6 and the game starts decreasing, and feels amazing to have the support from my community. They love what I do and love the support they, they show me. And it feels great for me to be able now to speak properly. And I'm trying to fight to have more opportunities for them because I know a lot of Brazilian players who love to be here competing. And sometimes they don't have a chance because we have to move, go to US, play in another country. And that's not something everyone can do, right? Mm. So I'm uh, going to be fighting for them every time. And I hope we can see more South American tournaments and spots in the future. All right, thank you very much for talking to us. I know you're busy, you're, you, you have to go get dinner now and stuff, so we'll get out of your way. For much more Counter-Strike coverage, stay tuned to Game Reactor Esports.